We want to wish Jack Nicholson. I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> it's my Botox. Happy <laughs> birthday. Jack turns 85 today. He's the most nominated actor ever with uh, 12 Oscar nods and three wins. And now a prop from one of his most memorable movies is up for auction. Remember this? The Axe from The Shining. Take a look. Here's Johnny. So the current bid for the axe is at $60,000 and it's expected to fetch up to $90,000. According to the auction house, the prop axe was one of many used during filming and is likely made of foam. No, thank you. How Here's likely? money. <laughs> no, no one's going to buy that thing made out of foam. Well, also, it, that terrifies me. I would not want that hanging up in my house. Oh, you're telling me a horror it. movie the buff that buys yeah. you know, Freddy Krueger's hand. Yeah, this is hat, such whatever. a collector's item. That has 90 item. grand to spare. Yeah, yeah that's I a mean, collector's that's, item. Right there. That's yeah. a Nick Cage item. It totally oh, is. Yeah. I, but I, I don't like the fact, I would love to have this, right? But to have multiple ones of those? No. No, no thank you. I need you. one no. axe. And then I find someone who has one, like, I'm talking about my axe, and then like, Al, you, you have an axe too? Okay. Yeah, it's like Tom Brady. I'm selling mine. Battle axes. All right. <laughs> the story of The Shining, actually, Stephen King, is being called out for his unusual microwave salmon recipe. Stephen uh, recently shared the unique recipe on Twitter that some say belongs in one of his horror movies. Movies. In the tweet, Stephen says, after putting some olive oil, some lemon juice on the fish, you wrap it in damp paper towel and nuke it in the microwave for three minutes or so. Then you eat it. One person on Twitter called the recipe, quote, the scariest thing Stephen King has ever written. Not, not if you grew up with an old black dad. That's, that's how my dad used to make stuff. He would put stuff in the microwave. My dad was Is that just, right? It was, it was saltines. It, uh, it was a starfish, uh, the tuna fish. Star kiss, yeah, star yeah, yeah, star yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, tuna. It was tuna fish, and it was Stouffer's lasagna, and that was it. My dad would make that all every week. It's I got not surprising two questions. Me. One, can you just heat up fish in a microwave? Putting in a warm napkin is weird. Two, <laughs> did your dad ever eat sardines? Because I remember growing up, my dad ate sardines like with oh. the head on, you just get them oh, right out of the can cracker. on white bread. Oh, oh, school. My. That's oh, people don't school. do that. Yeah. That sounds crazy. Oh, no. Today is 2022, and nobody should do this. <laughs> Nasty. Very nasty and smelly. It's delicious. I could smell it through the, as Tori was reading the script. I'm like, ugh, getting grossed out. I was hungry now. Can you not. warm? Could you warm up fish on a plate though? Put in it microwave? in like a, 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 I would do an oven situation for a couple minutes. It would just it, be tough if you put it in the microwave. It would just smell. Just wait till you get home. Right yeah, you gotta wait till you get home. What do you mean get home? Like don't do it at work. If you warm up fish in the microwave at oh, work, everyone's gonna hate you. <laughs> There's a famous story around here about someone heating up fish in a microwave. Uh oh, I need to hear it. Maybe it was before I got here. Maybe it's someone over there. Behind the scenes.